Good morning guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, the WizKids Football Channel, and welcome to another Football Manager tutorial. Okay, so you see these lovely kits we've got in the Scottish Premier League, which I have in every league on the game. As you can see, beautiful logos, you don't want the base chubby logos that are not real, they don't look like anything, they're quite boring and bland. You want these, you want the proper logos for every football club. So, today I'm going to show you in a brief video how you install these and get them into your game. So first what you want to do is find your chosen website, now you can go to Sort Out SI, FM Scout, Passion for Football Manager or my chosen website FootballManagerCentral.com Now you get loads of different various types of logos but this is the one we'll click on, it's Smooth 15 logos, yes it says Football Manager 2015 but you can use them for any Football Manager you want on really any game going back as far as 2005 I believe you can use them on. So if you scroll down the very bottom of the post on the website, you will see the download here. So once you've downloaded that, what you have to do, guys, is go on to WinRAR. Now, if you haven't downloaded WinRAR, get it for free. You can also get WinZip for free. And it gives you a trial period of 40 days, but it keeps coming up. You just cancel it. I've used it for years, and I've never had to pay once. So once you've done that, you go into your downloaded file. You get these. You right-click, and you extract to specified folder. So what you do is you go into your Sports Interactive folder, which is here, of course, then you go into your 2016, you go to Graphics. Now, if there's no kit, sorry, no folder called Graphics, you create it. Then inside that, you can create other things. So as you can see at the top, I've got Kit, but the next one, more important one we're looking at is Logos. So you create Logos, then you go back into WinRAR, and that is the folder you click in the drop-down to download into. Then you extract it into there, and then you go into Football Manager, you click on Preferences, then you drop down into Interface, you untick using Cache to decrease page loading times, tick Reload Skin when confirming changes, which is done basically when you want to see visible graphic changes, then you go to Reload Skin, and with a bit of luck guys, your logos as seen here on Celtic, you'll get the small one up here, you'll get the big one here. Hopefully they will be in your game. It's a very easy thing to do. There is Dundee, Dundee United, Hamilton. Of course, you can download these in individual packs and I'm sure there are some mega packs out there concerning logos. So pitch your game up guys, it makes it look so much better. So if you want my recommendation, head over to footballmanagercentral.com, click on the logos, download them, install them into your game, and do the same with faces guys and with kits of course. Thanks for watching guys, that's a short tutorial on how to install logos for clubs into the game and it also downloads and installs club, uh, sorry, country flags as you can see here, Scotland and it does it for every other country also. Thanks for checking out the video guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do and give the video a like and I'll see you again soon.